Okay, it's um, morning at day four. The wind is, uh, it's not much better and the temperature has dropped about 14 degrees. It's about six degrees centigrade right now. And we have got to try and launch this boat. It is way up on shore. And if we can get out, then we're going to head to some sheltered area. But uh, first of all, we've got enough to make this journey. places we're going to be able to fish today. This is nice and calm because the land is creating a windbreak for us. But this afternoon, late afternoon, the wind's going to get crazy again. So we got to fish while the fishing's good. We're going to venture up, not this way, that way is better. I mean, just give me a bit of room for my rod so it doesn't poke you in the eye. So something we wanted to do was to see if we could walk up and fish one of these higher pools. And uh, there's no trail here, and this is all here. Uh, I think you'll find most of it in underwater in the spring. This is all where the water comes up and pushes all these branches. And there is a bit of a old trail, if I can get to it. I don't know if it's a person trail. Just took a stick in the eye. A uh, little piece of wood in the eye, but it'll come out. So 
we'll see. It's a bit of a hike, literally and figuratively, to get where we want to go. So this is, like I say, there's a, clearly an old trail here. It's just a matter of how far up and around you need to go. I might have to backtrack a little bit here, like... I mean, where we need to get to is up there. So I don't want to go extra far. I don't want to snap an ankle. We're about... If I can get over there, that's a good little eddy there too. I'll wait up for Chris. So we need to get around and hopefully gain access to that pool. Although this would be good too. Uh, I just don't know if there's a spot. To get there. Boy, that could have been an ankle there. Ooh. So you can kind of see. Looks like there's a spot over there that you can almost cast into. Um, you can see this little island here comes down on both sides. We can see it actually cuts through over there, so. Yeah, and this is where I totally expect us to be rewarded with a fish. I think you want to get left when you can. Maybe you just go up a little further and you can get to there. there. Oh yes. Again, I don't pretend that this is a, a trail, but
a nice hole if we can just find a spot to cast it. So there's here. Okay. Okay, look at that. Yeah, I think if you go up, even just, I'm wondering here, I'm just gonna check to see how deep this is. It's a rock right there. Yeah, let's. I mean, there's got to be something in this hole. I mean, look at it. There we go. <laughs> yep. That's a big walleye, eh? There's another. So probably if I was to pick like maybe uh, a, your one o'clock. Another walleye. Oh, get him out of there. <sighs> Man, look at that. Yeah. Man. There's no question if it's a fish. This has got one here. Nice eye. Real nice eye. Sitting in an office chair. There we go. Force him up before he gets too far down the current. There he is. Bring him up on this side of the log. Back in the game. We're back from our adventure. 
where we went up, uh, walked, hiked our way up to the other portage. And uh, did real well, except my battery died. But so, I mean, we caught a, we caught a lot of fish actually up there, a lot. Real nice treat, gorgeous up there. Just casting from shore. And uh, Chris has got himself hooked up again already, so.
five. Mid morning, day five. We just made an hour boat ride down to the far west side. We fished this uh, small pool a couple days ago. Now that the wind's laid down enough for us to get down here, we're going to try it again. So we're going to slide into the bay up here. Fish around there for a while. Then we're going to run this kind of cup area. Fish it. We're going to fish the back of an island. And then we're going to go over and fish um, a bit of a, a pinch point where the Albany pours in. That gets us. We're uh, we're probably down here for the better part of the the day to probably at least mid afternoon. Uh, maybe later. We'll see how the fishing's going.
All right, folks, a uh, little bit of a gear review. This is something that I picked up. It is called Pull Start Fire. And the reason I got this is when I'm either out camping or if I'm fishing and camping or I'm on a remote outpost uh, trip like this, sometimes the wood that you've got access to is wet or it's, you know, like it's not, not dried out yet or it's been raining a ton and this solves the problem for you. So this is a three pack, pick these up at Canadian Tire. What you do is it's got a green and a red and it's a little bit like the old Christmas crackers uh, if you ever do that, do those. So you take the green and you just loop it around the, you know, a log. You know, whichever log you want, okay? And then you'll put that into your fire and then you nestle this, you know, in it. And then take out the red. You need to have, have the red um, access to it. And then, you know, you build your fire, you know, over top of it. And then if all goes well, you just make sure it's, it's snug. You pull that. Boom. Oh. And that little packet in there is designed to burn for 30 minutes. Burns, uh, lights up uh, wet wood, but I think um, it, it's something crazy like, you know, uh, you know, 100 km an hour wind. So good to have handy. We didn't actually need it right now, but it's good to have handy when you're on a, a trip or you're camping and you need to make sure you got a fire. Check it out, pole start fire. Wind, sorry, windproof to 200 miles per hour. Uh, lights wet wood, burns for 30 minutes. Good to go.